Hello, little bunny rabbit. Hello, little bunny rabbit. So I've decided to come to Comrie Croft today. It's a relatively nice day. And I've treated myself to a few extra components. I have new pedals, new shoes, cleats, and a helmet. Things appear to be on the up, on the job front. So I thought I would come out and reward myself on the progress that's being made. And I've just realized I've not got my gloves on. I'm just gonna take a gentle pace up the hill. I'm gonna try the red run today. There are still plenty of sections which I find unrideable, both on the climb and the descent, but you have to try, you have to keep pushing yourself. Just making it to the top of the hill first. Let's concentrate on that. That's not meant to happen. <sighs> Trail side maintenance. as you can see but this thing is getting destroyed ultimately what happened was this plastic protector had dislodged itself gotten caught where it shouldn't and it's now impeding my bike ride and I'm sat on a nettle I don't want to be screwing up my axle but at the same time I don't want to be riding this my first mountain bike there we go clear path to removal Alan and Matt this is for you the plastic guard of Garbage is no more. Yes, it was a nettle. Look at those lovely nettles. Stinging my bum. Alright, now why won't you bite? Nope, okay. Okay, it could be rear mech hanger. Could be ever so slightly out of alignment. Yep. I've probably given it a good dink. When I was looking through the axle hole, the hole that the axle goes through for the rear mech dropper hangs from. <coughs> the axle goes through, that wasn't quite in alignment. So I guess where I just had that little bit of a mash up and I probably knocked the hanger slightly up. Matt, all being well. Much better. Now the next one's gonna be having knocked my rear mech out of alignment. 
Right, we'll cross that bridge. Meanwhile, responsible ownership and responsible cycling. Bits of plastic that I snapped off. Put them in this bit here. Minor trailside maintenance complete. This doesn't count as stopping, by the way. <laughs> the stop was forced upon me. I didn't choose to do it. I would have happily kept cycling up. <clears throat> Not unwelcome to have that little bit of a break, but to be honest, I'd rather have been aggressively hitting the hill than getting my bum stung by a little. Yeah, well, sun's up. Oh, I can feel my heart thumping. <sighs> the trick is to just keep pedaling. Find whatever gear you need to, however low. And they call it a granny ring, a granny gear. And do you know what? If it gets you up the hill, who cares? It's better than getting off and walking. Okay. I'll take that. yourself to get up there. Well it's a beautiful day near the top of the croft. <laughs> it's actually a lot more grippier. No it's not. <laughs> that was a fine balance. I didn't pick my right line. not to strike your pedals and then straight across there's a stone part of the way down there I think I'll come here and just 
ride it down that channel. Not the cleanest, but it will pass. I'll just do that. Shattered. <sighs> Lovely. <sighs> Decision. Rock. Can I decide to not do it? I do love your craft, but your features are daunting. And then your chicken runs are worse because they're too rutted. I want to progress. I don't want to be scared off by particular lines. Here's a nice example. If you feel you can't take this rock section, you have a chicken line. It's not the cleanest, but there is a chicken line. Oh, hello. Get the line. I just can't get into it. I can't. Right now I can't get into that line. Because it's doable, obviously. Just get your weight a little bit back. Let the bike run. And just gently steer out at the bottom. I'm a cyclist, I want to cycle, not frickin' walk. And it's frustrating because there are some parts of this which I can ride. And I would love to be able to continue to try and progress on them.
See, this is all right. The tree's a little bit in the way from my red bars, but I don't have to get off the bike. few minutes of time left on the GoPro. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> 